Stop recording. Over here. How's it, English? Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii, the. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> it's Wednesday. Welcome to Wednesday, July 3rd, the eve of 4th of July. So, if you're watching, thank you for watching and, uh, and all that good stuff. And if you like, make sure you like the YouTube. Liking Facebook is <laughs> no. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, yeah, it's like, again, another crazy day. Uh, it's Toastmaster Day. Night. I have. Instead of a replacement video for today, I'm making this before I do a speech in Toastmasters. See, in Toastmasters we have a few, we have fewer people, so everyone has to sign up for a lot of these things because we meet, we meet, we meet <laughs> weekly. You're back. I'm back. So, anyways, yeah, I'm trying to lead by example, so I signed up for a speech because, just because. Now, I, I, another speech. So. I'm doing it on the um, fictional book. She told me. Futility, the wreck of the Titan, which is actually written 14 years before the Titanic sank. 14 years before. And it's literally the same story. Big ocean liner. It goes out on its maiden voyage. It's stuffed to the brim. It's unsinkable. It goes out into the Atlantic. It's in April. And it hits an iceberg at midnight. All the same earmark. It's the same story. Except 13 people survived, and Titanic actually about 700 plus people survived. And there was a lot, not enough light boats, and it's called the Titan. What? And yeah, um, hmm, how do you explain that? 14 years before, it was actually 11 years before the Titanic was even to murdered. be, not murdered, built. Okay, ghost tube box. Jeez, kind of getting on. Huh. Oh boy, gonna need a little coffee. And uh, and I thought uh, Michael had to work a 12-hour shift. Oh my God! Slowly. I feel bad. I was thinking that we were gonna try to power out some of these um, little scenes for that uh, student movie thing, but and and the the room we rent at the library, Kamiki Library for Toastmasters, the walls are painted green screen green, so you can actually try to be surrounded by green and film inside there and you can do green screen replacement that's it's i thought we might have been doing something but it's it's obviously it's just a little too much trying to stuff stuff in i guess everyone's excited because it's fourth of july they don't realize it that's yeah and uh, and what else is going on in the national news i don't know there's so much crazy it's not even funny uh the supreme court decisions like trump uh, January 6th, people might have to be retried. The January 6th case trial against Trump could be postponed until after the election, which means I don't know what. The sentencing, which was going to happen on July 11th, for the previous case, he's already done 34 felonies. That one. The sentencing is going to be, be here. delayed. <laughs> Because they have to sort out what might be official duties and non-official duties of the president. I, 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 it's, it's so bizarrely, I mean, bending the rules and the whole court is bending. It's not like you're bending the rules, you're bending the court. And so it's a little bit frightening what's going on. And Nobody they, knows. they want Biden to drop out of the race and he's like well i'll wait it out for a little bit and he's probably going to do what's best for the party and trump wants to just already just have everyone realize that he's been president all along <laughs> so he doesn't have to convey it's just so crazy anyways uh yeah how about uh we look at what's happening in the news yeah hawaiian news Ooh, look, hawaiian news hag ah <sighs> hag <laughs> there's this development thing out of UH that's you hero economic they, they seem to really uh, focus on what this research group of UH says about anything because they probably said some stuff about tourism 
but they're saying niche industries could help diversify instead of being all about tourism they can start up fishing because once hawaii was out of agriculture it just went down uh, Please stop. as far as different things barrel b-e-r-y-l is now barreling through <laughs> jamaica it's just another one of these storms but it went up from three four now it's freaking five it's category five it's going through jamaica and it's heading for that uh gulf of mexico stop oh my gosh and then there's this guy in sports i have no idea is this like more more basketball who is he i don't know who is she tennis and basketball is, is football coming back yay <laughs> tennis and basketball okay not for any uh just relax man back in the day Remember 1961? You want to relax? You just go out in the go out in the lanai and uh, with the little 50 uh, half gallon wine or whatever. Or is that the sushi? That's the soy sauce. <laughs> Have a little rice, kids, and then it's back to the plantation, <laughs> pulling up the sugar cane. Like, yeah. This is uh, Puma, uh, Jose Puma, uh, Kia, Kiave. Mauhili, a neighbor and child, Anita Chavaris, Kiave Mauhili's granddaughter outside Kiave Mauhili's Aala Triangle apart. Aala. Okay, so they're in Aala. Neither man wants to leave his low rent substandard apartment, though the area is marked for a reconstruction project. So, hey, I got the old house, but I'm gonna leave. Hey, you can't make me. I got no, no slippers. Oh, so little finger on the pulse I don't know what I'm doing something happened and let's just pick one of these just kidding. go for it Trump is a mendacious threat to US and world the presidential debate was alarming Donald Trump wallowed around in lies like a pig wallowing in mud I believe it makes him feel better to live surrounded by surrounded by untruths to puff himself up he spews out untruths move over move over doctor okay doctor <laughs> move over doctor he spews out untruths to us when he talks and demands that his minions feed him untruths as well a president without integrity who can't handle the truth is terribly dangerous national decisions must be based on reality or they will they will lead to the entire country, they lead the entire country to disaster. Janet Onapa Kailua. Oh, thank you, Janet. Oh, oh, that's good. That's nice of you to realize that. The guy is based on basically a con man. <laughs> it's not even, it's not even, it's, uh, it's so, it's so overboard that many people take it as, oh, it's just Trump. He's just speaking what's on his mind. <laughs> it's like, and but the scary part is his. The scary part is his plan, the Agenda 2025. I mean, they have it all planned out. So like, you go in there, it's gonna be, ding, 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 ding. it's gonna happen fast, and then there's nothing you can do. And the tr and the Supreme Court, man, what if what if something happens and they. Uh, you know, it goes back up to the Supreme Court. It's like, hey, it's it's, it's his. It belongs to him. It's in his back pocket. Sister. So it's like, oh my gosh. Anyways, it's all pretty scary. But have a happy, um, what do you call it? Um, what do you call it? Uh, Fourth of July. <laughs> That's what it is. It's gonna be Fourth of July, Independent Day, until we have a uh, dictator. <laughs> Anyways, aloha. Have a happy day. It's gonna be. Aloha to you. Oh. Oh. Okay. Aloha. Should be a good day. Wish me luck in my speed. Okay. Aloha to you now. Bye. Aloha.